Hello everyone! This is Yosef Dest! And I never know how to start these without sounding like an idiot. Um, I think I need an opening tagline. Get your cameras ready! Uh, this is Yosef Dest of 52 Frames. This is another coffee and critique series. Uh, screencast critique for 52 Frames. 52 Frames is a photography project where I issue a photo challenge every week and you creative masses all over the world commit to your seven day challenge. And uh, wow, uh, this week I wanna do something a little bit different. I wanna do a rapid fire screencast critique. I wanna go through these as fast as possible. Uh, I'd like to call it an asshole critique, uh, <laughs> an asshole screencast. Uh, for those that know me, I, I'm really not an asshole. At least I'd, I'd like to think I'm not. But I want to see if I can actually give my gut reaction to each photo uh, literally in a word uh, or two. We'll see how well I do. So maybe I'll just give this disclaimer from the beginning. Uh, maybe put on your, uh, you know, take off your sensitive helmets and put on the, the thicker skin helmets because, um, you know, don't take offense. I would, I would give the same reaction to uh, my own photos. I think this could just be a good way of trimming the fat, getting through more of the content. And also, I made sure not to look at the photos as much as I can beforehand to so really get my gut reaction. Uh, before we begin, I do want to give a shout out uh, that 52 Frames has an iPhone app, thanks to my good friend Gershon Liv, who created this for the community. Uh, I wish I could show you some screenshots, but I actually don't have an iPhone. So for all you Android users, I feel you. And we actually have somebody working on an Android app as well. Uh, watch this space. All right, let's do this. I took out the photos. Uh, all of them, actually, except for the ones where somebody clicked that they do not want to be critiqued. Whoa, who are you people? Um, and I just went here and I sorted by date created, which is, the I think, the closest I can get to random right now. But this is random. I literally have not uh, seen these before. And let's do it. Okay. Okay. Disclaimer. <laughs> I uh, I did see this photo at, right before I started the screencast, and because it's kind of nude, I did a cover up. Uh, I darkened some area over here. I apologize for the censorship, but I'm not really sure what YouTube's uh, censor policy is. So I figure we'll play it safe. All right, for rapid fire, this is quite a long introduction. Um, I really really like this photo. Beautiful edge light. Um, I love it. I'm honestly not sure what I'm looking at, but it's 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 cool. It's trippy. It's a bit more abstract than a photograph. I dig it. Um, tilting my neck here. I think you need to get closer, and your darks are a little bit too dark, and the uh, white balance a little bit too yellow. I think this is potentially uninteresting. I think uninteresting is too harsh of a term and you are a bit not sharp actually maybe it is sharp. I don't I don't I don't I don't nothing comes to mind for this. I apologize. I like this. I think you could add a, a bit more clarity. Maybe I'll bring that up quickly. I'm already way more than one or two words each. See that? It's a little bit clarity. It's funky. It's already a funky composition. I think that way. Let me show you before and after. If you guys can see that. I uh, forgot to mention, watch this in HD. Otherwise, you're not going to see these nuances. This is really nice. I like this a lot. Uh, one thing to mention, you're uh, about 1,100 pixels wide. You really want to be 2,000 pixels wide. 2048 is the sweet spot for Facebook. So you could even see on my screen, as compared to the one previous, it's a, it's a bit small. Uh, and make sure when you're when you're saving to uh, keep those pixels. Um, this is beautiful. I love it. 
It's a little bit not sharp. Listen, we have a lot of uh, flower photos. So if you're going to take a flower photo, if you're going to take a cat photo, if you're going to take a baby photo, it should really be unique. Ideally, try and separate yourselves from the pack. Uh, I think if this was sharper, then um, it would be a bit better. Um, this looks like maybe it was shot with a phone or a long shutter. It's just much too blurry. I like this. It's very sweet, sweet angle. Um, I like it. It's cute. I really like these. I saw a lot of these in the uh, in the album. I thought it was very very clever setup. I know it's very popular on uh, on Instagram and in general, like behind the scenes. You know what I packed in my bag. Um, nice touch. Nice touch on this the old school style. Ah, oh, that's cute. Okay, see, this is an example of a flower photo that's uh, unique. I like that. Very cute. Also, it looks a, a bit a bit not sharp. In fact, when I zoom in, it looks like you have some kind of sharpening processing on here, which makes it look kind of fuzzy in a sharp kind of way. Does that make sense? You see what I mean? It's like the pixels aren't there, but it seems like you tried to sharpen it afterwards. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Also, it seems a little bit blurry. Let me see if I can... Uh, Pull up EXIF. This one doesn't have EXIF. Guys, don't wipe your EXIF. I want to help you out. This is cool. Similar to the other one we just saw. I think maybe uh, the other one was a bit better in that we saw her eyes. Um, I know that was intentional. Um, also, I would rather this be straight. It looks like she's a bit crooked. This is interesting. It almost looks like a painting with this processing. See, this is... Um, Ex extreme sharpening, extreme sharpening. You'll see this on Instagram. Look at it when you look at it up close. Like this isn't ordinarily what the pixels would look like, um, but it is. It is cool. I don't really think it's shot from above. I think it's just shot from a higher vantage point. I saw a bunch of those. This is shot from above. This is awesome. I know that Nomi took this. Uh, I love this Nomi. Really, really good job. Really good uh, choice of uh, GoPro wide, super wide angle lens also. It's very cute. It looks a bit uh, muddy, the quality. It looks like you shot with a high ISO or a phone. Something about it is uh, a bit blurry to me. <clears throat> this is really nice. I think your shadows are a bit too dark, especially around the eyes. I think it would be more flattering if uh, just the photo was brightened up a bit. Let me, let me uh, bring that up quickly. I think we can just, I'm just going to raise the shadows in a little bit. A little bit of whites, maybe. You know what? Let's just raise the exposure. Ah, it's like we turned the lights on. Just a little before and after. See, it was just, it was just for my taste, I think it was a bit dark. I think this this has a, a bit more, uh, a bit more going for it. I like this. I like it. Abstract. I love the soft, the soft shadows here. Mmm. Some kind of fish. Uh, I think maybe, I'm not seeing any symmetry. Maybe if it was shot directly above, it would be more interesting. Hey, that's cool. Very good use of focusing. And then you start to build the picture. You, you're, you're drawn, your eye is drawn to the focus bit first, which I think is great. And then you start piecing together the picture, like what the heck is going on? I like that a lot. Very good. Also, this seems like it was shot from a vantage point that was higher. I, it's not quite giving me like the uh, interesting, unique, abstract shapes. Uh, I think maybe a different angle could have been better. Also, the resolution a little bit higher, preferably twenty forty eight wide. That's your sweet spot. This is cute. This is cute. That's all I have to say about that. I like this nice abstract. I think we've seen a lot of these. Um, and I can't help but like every one. I just love this. I love, shoot down a stairs and I like it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I just, I love it. I can't, I don't get sick of it. Uh, this also a bit too dark. I would raise your shadows. This is nice, a bit too yellow. I don't know if he's in, I guess it's sand. I guess it's sun. So I guess it could be yellow. So I take it back. 
This is nice. Again, I think it could be more interesting if you gave us a bit more context, maybe if it was directly from above, maybe if we saw this person. I feel like I'm not quite seeing enough here. This is cute. Again, I think it's more vantage point than uniquely photographed. Uh, I can't even tell what this is. I'm sorry. Uh, your resolution. I mean, it's, it's hard to grab a viewer's attention if it's so small. Um, another elevator shot. This is cool. I like the leading lines. This, I think maybe if it was black and white, also we're missing all this detail here, like what's happening there. Very cool. A couple uh, shot from a plane as well, I assume, unless you took a helicopter for this challenge, which should be an extra credit challenge. You know what, next year, helicopter, extra cre credit challenge. Remind me to put that in, that would be awesome. See, this is cool, this is like, proper shot from above vantage point. Not that this was the challenge. I'm not saying like, if you didn't do this, this wasn't the shot, but this is a unique perspective. This is really just completely changing your perspective. And I love the dynamic with the, the icon here and the person walking. A bit blurry, your shutter probably should have been a little bit quicker, but uh, I love it. Love these lines, beautiful composition, really nice. This I think could have a bit more interest again. I'm just, I feel like it's lacking some context. This is a cool abstract muddy photo you know i mean if you're gonna go abstract i i would go more abstract so i would like really cr crunch it out and you know make sure your highlights are popping um and i would like bring down the shadows make the blacks black like make it a funky color i don't know if you're if you're going abstract uh this before looks a bit muddy and at least here uh you know maybe it's more interesting This is nice. I don't think it's shot from above, but I do like the fall colors. It's a bit crunchy. I know I, I talked about crunchy last time. I wish I had a better word that was just understood. But if I lower the clarity here and I lower the contrast, it could kind of give you an idea. This is more realistic, right? And then here is how you have it. And you see the you see the crunch factor. So it's nice. I just added clarity to the previous one to make it look, you know, more abstract but I think it's a bit much, specifically with the darks. Um, so if you see here, the way you had it, the darks just kind of, the blacks just kind of get get all crunched out, a bit too much for me. This I really like, This it takes you a second to realize, is this floor, is that wall, it's very cool. Again, I feel like it could be more interesting if it was shot from above this just looks like you are above shooting straight uh again shooting from a plane uh, i i love it in fact we had a, a our audience award winner was shot from a plane whoa uh 52 frames does not condone uh any kind of drug use yeah that one's trippy that one's interesting um, your horizon line is off here. Um, this is quite crunchy, but you know what? Crunchy to the point where I kind of like it. This would this would look nice on a wall. It's like kind of a funky atmosphere. I like that. This looks like your shutter speed is a bit low. Do we have any EXIF? No EXIF. Quit wiping your EXIF data, people. I mean, I'm not seeing any EXIF. What is the deal? I'm just looking here in the corner. Uh, here's EXIF. Is it possible that so many of you are wiping your EXIF? Here's EXIF. Okay. I, I just, there's, if uh, if you process in a way where it's not wiping that data, I could at least, uh, I can see your settings. I can, and I can give you some feedback on it. This is a nice night shot. It does look like your horizon is a little bit askew. This is a nice abstract. I like that one. Not usually a fan of selective coloring. Uh, again, I feel like you're showing too much. You either need to show more or show less. That is a scary snake. It looks like the focus is more here and on the leaf rather than the head. This is a cute shot. I do like that you have the snow frozen in the air, but because there's so many, then my eye isn't drawn to any one thing. I think if maybe if it was one snowball maybe about to hit this poor kid, maybe that would be a more interesting story. This is a cool abstract also, but again, like what is our story? Why is this shot from above? Why is this a unique perspective? I like this abstract. I would go a little bit brighter, uh, but I like it. 
This is also muddy. See, the shadows are muddy. The, the, we're losing some detail. Could be high ISO, could be shot from a phone. Um, let's see if you have any EXIF. No, no EXIF. This is cute. I think it's a bit over-processed. I wonder what it would look like uh, just regular straight from the camera. I think you, you pushed it a bit much. You're kind of forcing the composition uh, instead of uh, capturing it. This is nice. The contrast here, the colors and where it's light, where it's dark, it all seems to be kind of in a mid-range zone, meaning I'm not attracted to any one thing. And if I wanted to be, let's say I was uh, processing this right now, what I would want, I would raise, I would raise the exposure, let's say for this woman jumping in the air and the ball, which you can barely see. So if we raise the, uh, the exposure and the clarity, just to give you a sense, it's still a bit difficult. I mean, you know, the ball would have to be, I'm just exaggerating it so you can see, you know, maybe, maybe then I would lower, lower the exposure and lower the contrast everywhere else just to try and make her pop more. Again, I'm not, I'm not doing this for real. I'm just trying to show you a more exaggerated, like if it was something, something like this, then you look at the photo and you see the woman jumping in the air and you see the ball in the air. But the way you have it now, it's just, you don't even see the ball. It's just kind of lost there. Just something to think about when you're shooting, what angle you're cutting and also in the post-processing. Another abstract. I feel like a lot of a uh, lot of abstract photos. Um, something about this seems lacking. You're mixing your daylight here. The sun is blue. The the light is blue over here from the sun, uh, and here it's a bit yellow. I would maybe go for uniform, and I'd also go for more directly on top, looking down. This is cool. This is funky. I think you could be could have been even funkier. Maybe crop out this part. Something about it seems in between. This is clever. I don't really agree with the uh, having the grass and this, I think maybe just this pattern and just the shadow would have been a good interplay uh, of shapes. This is a nice abstract, a bit too dark. I would brighten this up. Great water shot. I love water. Uh, it does look a little bit muddy and also a little bit dark, uh, but I like that. Keep playing with that. This honestly looks like a bathroom towel, a bathroom tile. Uh, I, I don't even, I'm not even sure. I don't know. Maybe you explain more in the caption. I don't really have much to say about that. Sorry. Here's another flower again. You make it unique. At the very least, the flower should pop out and the background should be a bit darker. This is a cool photo. I think this is a cool story. Definitely your white balance is much too yellow uh, and you probably had a longer exposure. It does look a little bit hazy. So I would cut through that, you know, in Photoshop, they now have a dehaze slider, which is quite cool. This is great. This is great. It also takes you a second to realize that the guy's sitting, uh, lying down on a bench. Uh, very cool. Very cool shot from above shot. 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 Um, this one's also very cute. I like, I like that you have a story here, that you built a story. You know, we, we're not seeing eyes we're not seeing any dynamic here i feel like maybe a couple more shots and you could have gotten something a little bit better from that scene this is cute but i'm also not it's not so much from above you're not really utilizing the angle as best as you can to tell the story but it is cute oh my god that's adorable i also don't see that this is shot from above so maybe in another challenge again babies cats uh flowers i don't have any problems with them you just gotta, you gotta understand you have a lot of competition. <laughs> you have a lot of people before you and probably after you. So how are you gonna make it unique? How is your cat gonna be unique? <laughs> let's, let's pull out all the cats, uh, babies, and, <laughs> and flowers. Um, okay, boom, this is unique. I have not seen a cat photo like this. Used a, it looks like you use a wider lens. Uh, you got interesting light here. I do like the soft shadows, how you process the black and white, and the cat's got a, a cute little funny face going on. Whereas this seems a bit more of a snap, uh, a bit more like other typical ones we've seen. This is a beautiful photo of a dog, but I, you know, I can't help but I've, I've seen it before. This looks like artificial flash. 
Uh, we're not really seeing much expression here or context. Um, you Here, you are getting an interesting shape compositionally. Uh, I think you could use a little bit more detail and your lines could be straight. I did not think I would just be critiquing animals, but it's an interesting way to really see. Uh, I, I see so many people are, are submitting it. I want you to think before you submit it, how is this going to be unique? How is this going to be different? I do like this depth of field. It's a bit yellow. However, um, I really didn't mean to go into all the dog photos. Okay, that one's also really cute. <clears throat> all right. Sorry if you were next in line, but I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go at random. Uh, it's really cute. A bit dark and a bit yellow. I would brighten that up and uh, maybe give some clarity. Also nice. I do feel like we're lacking a bit of context as well. A little bit further out would be would. Give me more of the story. Uh, here, I'd also like some context. I am, I'm just seeing an apple. Like, what is your story? What, what were you trying to tell here? Why does an apple need to be shot from this angle? Ah, I love this photo. I love it. The, the reason why I love this photo, aside from the obvious, because I, I love these stairs and all the circles and all the happenings and I like the processing also but the fact that this this what looks like a woman here who's wearing a black shirt is in a very bright area and it's that contrast to to give you that contrast pun intended from the other basketball shot that I was talking about where there lacked contrast the subject didn't pop out of you here subject completely pops out and is a tiny aspect of the photo so beautiful beautifully done these are tough to do, you know, long shutter, you have to realize all of the other pho photographic principles are at play. So you want to have your leading lines coming from the corner, preferably. This space kind of is, is dead. Uh, you know, maybe if you were closer to the action, uh, the, all of this is dark. So it's cool that you got the, the light trails, but you know, what do you, I think you can go another level. What are you going to do with those lines, with those light trails? This is cute. Looks like salt and pepper shakers. Um, again, I think maybe you could have added a level of storytelling here. This looks like your shutter speed is a bit is a bit uh, slow, and you had movement. That's why you see these words here. This is classic uh, slow shutter speed. This is actually a great example. You see that that it's not blurry. It's it's uh, not focused. One over four. Ah, we have EXIF. One over four is too slow. That's a very long shutter if you're hold, if you're handheld. Um, and it looks like you're you have a maybe a flash, bare strobe flash that's casting unsightly shadows. But anyways. Okay, I think wow. How have I been? I've been doing this for twenty minutes already. Um, I like this. I, I hope this wasn't too fast for you guys. I think, uh, I think it's it's. I gave you some more information here. Um, let me pull out just a couple more that maybe strike my eye. Um, I do like this. I think I would, I would amp up the uh, the highlights just a bit on this one to bring out the white. I I feel like your whites are not quite represented. I just bring up the highlights. Ooh, yeah. Bring down the the shadows just a bit which is basically the same as contrast, contrast, clarity, before, after. I don't know if you could see the difference on your screen. Let me see if I can just comment on a few more. See, every every person that I'm skipping now and making a lot of enemies. <laughs> How come you skipped over my photo? Anyways, you guys, this uh, this album was really terrific. I mean... So much, ah, oh, it's beautiful. So much, um, really clever ideas. You know, this, this is a story. This is like interesting. This, this, this composition is beautiful. The way you cut it. I really thought I would talk more about horizon lines because when I was skimming the album earlier in the week, I thought to myself, I'm gonna do this rapid fire screencast, and they're probably all gonna be straight into horizon lines. Uh, but I actually didn't come across that many. Uh, but this horizon line could be straightened. This horizon could be straightened. I, I need you to, by default, okay, in whatever program you are, because you do have this in Picasa, you do have this in, in uh, pretty much all of your editing softwares. See that? 
it was just very subtle, but by default, before you do anything, ask yourself, is my horizon straight? And if it's not, you should straighten it. All right, guys. Whew, I don't know how that went by so quickly. Uh, I would definitely like to do more of these. I'm trying to find the time to get these out because I do know you guys appreciate this so much and, uh, and I really love going over your photos. Thank you for being you, everyone. It's been another week here at 52 Frames. Looking forward to another creative week to everyone. And in the meantime, happy shooting. Can you imagine I actually did not have coffee this time? Thank you.